there are seemingly insignificant moments in life that end up staying with us forever. We get up in the morning, finish our morning chores, take breakfast, get ready to the office, drive the vehicle in the same road, reach office, say a formal hi and go to our seat and attend our work, have some calls, some meetings, lunch and team meeting. You look at the watch, it is 6 p.m. You start packing your bag and laptop, go home, do some binge watching, conversing with the children and family. After dinner, you watch your favorite TV show, then you retire to bed. Next day, the same routine and everything is passing as a routine. Every day rolls up like this. You get up in the morning the next day and you are ready to start your vehicle. You look at the one clock and the calendar next. Oh, it's Friday. Thank God, it's Friday. There is a sudden rush of blood and energy and pumping into your lips. You feel very active. Sudden adrenaline is flowing. The Saturday and the Sunday is coming fast. If you can push this one day by bracing, the next oncoming weekend is a boon to you and to reach this weekend, you are craving for five days. Then thank God it's Friday. The Saturday and Sunday is entirely yours and you are not answerable to anyone for any project. So you think, no meetings, no calls and no anything. For this you waited for five strenuous days. What does thank God it's Friday mean? Thank God it's Friday or the acronym TGIF is a common expression used on Friday in English speaking western countries. It expresses gratification that the working week is nearly over and a weekend of leisure will soon be here. Full form of TGIF in social media is Thank God it's Friday. Please watch the Genesis and do you welcome or not till the end. Once upon a time in the bustling city of Bridgewood, the residents eagerly awaited the arrival of Friday. For them, it was not just the end of the work week. It was the day they celebrated with utmost enthusiasm. They called it TGI Friday, short for, thank goodness it's Friday. And the reason behind their excitement was a heartwarming tradition that had been cherished for generations. The story began with an old man named Mr. Theodore. He was a kind and wise soul who had spent his entire life working as a woodworker. Every day, from Monday to Thursday, he diligently crafted beautiful wooden trinkets and furniture, often gifting them to those in need. His work was his passion, but he longed for something more. One Thursday evening, as he sat in his workshop, he noticed a group of children playing outside. They seemed so carefree and happy. Mr. Theodore's heart swelled with a desire to share his love for his craft with the children. And so, he decided to start something that would forever change Bridgewood. The following Friday, Mr. Theodore set up a small wooden stand in the town square. He placed a few wooden toys and furniture pieces on display. As people passed by, he greeted them with a warm smile and invited them to take a piece of his handcrafted artistry home, free of charge. The townsfolk were pleasantly surprised and grateful for the kind gesture. They couldn't believe their luck. Word quickly spread about Mr. Theodore's Friday tradition, and soon, people from neighboring towns began to visit Bridgewood on Fridays to experience the joy of receiving a handmade gift. The tradition became known as TGI Friday, and it was a day when the entire community came together to celebrate the spirit of generosity and gratitude. As time passed, more and more craftsmen 
joined Mr. Theodore, offering their unique talents and skills. Every Friday, the town square transformed into a vibrant marketplace of creativity, where artisans, bakers, musicians, and performers shared their gifts with the world. There were storytellers who captivated the crowd with tales of adventure, painters who turned the square into a canvas of color, and bakers who offered delicious treats. The air was filled with laughter, music, and the sweet aroma of fresh pastries. For generations, TGI Friday continued to flourish in Bridgewood with Mr. Theodore's legacy living on through the artisans and craftsmen who followed in his footsteps. And so, people continued to eagerly await each TGI Friday, for it was a celebration of not just the end of the work week, but a celebration of their town's enduring spirit and the legacy of one man's simple act of kindness. Let me tell you another story that sheds light on the magic of Fridays. In a bustling city named Harmonyville, there lived a young woman named Emma. She worked tirelessly in a high-rise office building, her days often stretching far beyond the regular 9 to 5 hours. Emma was diligent and dedicated, but she longed for the weekend, especially Friday evenings, when she could finally break free from the monotony of her daily routine. One Friday afternoon, when it's about quitting time, Emma's excitement grew. As Emma stepped into outside, she immediately sensed a change in the atmosphere. It was as if the world outside the office doors was brighter, livelier, and full of endless possibilities. The air was filled with the sweet scent of street food, laughter, and music. Harmonyville had transformed into a vibrant, bustling metropolis. She navigated through the colorful crowd, her senses alive with the promise of a great night ahead. It was Friday, and the world felt like a different place. The weight of the work week was lifted, and all that remained was the joy of the present moment. After their meal, Emma and her friends decided to explore the city's night. The streets had come alive with vibrant performers, street vendors, and a palpable energy that was unique to Friday evenings. They watched a street performer who entertains the passerby, listened and watched to a talented musicians and magicians, and indulged in a variety of mouth-watering street food. For Emma, it was a night of pure bliss and a much-needed escape from the stresses of her work life. So, as the sun set on another memorable Friday night in Harmonyville, Emma and her friends made a pact to celebrate every Friday, as if it were a holiday. For in those moments, they found the true magic of TGIF, the magic of life itself. In summary, TGIF and the celebration of the weekend are meant to provide an opportunity for rest, relaxation and the enjoyment of life outside of your work. But some schools argue it makes people lazy, always looking for the weekend on a countdown basis and the entire productive week is wasted. Blaming TGIF or the concept of weekends for a lack of achievement is not fair. Personal responsibility and self-discipline are the key factors in determining success. It is up to individuals to sit and pursue their goals. TGIF itself does not make people lazy or hinder their ability to achieve in life. It is more about how individuals manage their time, set their priorities and strike a balance between work and leisure. Achieving success is a complex interplay of various factors including personal motivation, discipline, 
and effective time management. These factors should be considered separately from the celebration of the weekend. So enjoy the weekend, recharge yourself and bounce back fresh on Monday morning. Thanks for watching and for your time.